Welcome to the Friday edition webcast of TheLantern.com. I'm Molly Gray. With just a little more than 20 days left until the new Ohio Union opens in spring quarter, more information is becoming available about the new space. Earlier this week, The Lantern reported that 17 rooms in the Ohio Union have been named in honor of donors who contributed more than $3.5 million to the building. Heather McGinnis, Director of Development for the Office of Student Life in the Ohio Union, said that the private donations ranged from $25,000 to $2 million. For more information on the specific donors, please visit thelantern.com. Other than serving as a potential hub of student life, the union will also represent what it's like to be a Buckeye with the All Ohio State Book Collection, arranged by Ohio Staters Incorporated, and a stained glass art project featuring over 1,000 pictures of life on campus. Both displays will be unveiled when the Ohio Union opens on March 29th. Later today, President Gordon Gee will be arm wrestling Tracy Stuck, the director of the Ohio Union. The two will be fighting for ownership of a painting that Gee took to his home after the former union closed its doors. Check thelantern.com on Monday for video of the fight. We'll now go to Zach Meisel for a look at the Big Ten champion Buckeyes. For the third time in five years, Ohio State has Big Ten champions in football and both men's and women's basketball. On a night in which senior Mark Titus shed tears while being introduced and fans chanted one more year toward National Player of the Year favorite Evan Turner, the men's basketball team completed the trifecta with a 73-57 victory over Illinois Tuesday night at the Schottenstein Center. John Diebler had seven threes and Turner chipped in with 16 points and 12 rebounds to give the Buckeyes at least a share of the conference title. OSU clinched the top seed for next week's Big Ten Tournament in Indianapolis, where they will play Friday after receiving a first round bye. Back to you, Molly. Thanks, Zach. Turns out that the switch to semesters in 2012 is going to be affecting more than just classes. On Tuesday, the Athletic Council of the University Senate discussed competing proposals for ticket allocation in the 2012 football season. After the switch, the autumn term will start much earlier, meaning that students will be on campus for more football games, and they want more tickets set aside for students at the games. Alumni are also arguing for allocation in their favor, hoping to have their tickets spread out throughout the season instead of being concentrated in a limited number of games. A vote on these proposals could come as early as April 6th. That's all we have this week. Make sure you check thelantern.com for all of your Ohio State news. I'm Molly Gray, and I'll see you next Friday.